Welcome to the Fruit and Strength Show. We're here with no other than Robert Cheek of veganbodybuilding.com. I want to ask him some questions. Now, <clears throat> Rob, I got to say that that website, veganbodybuilding.com, is that's one of the biggest inspirations for me to lift weights. And you, you started it about like how many years ago? Well, I became vegan 20 years ago and started the website going on probably 12, 13 years ago yeah. back when I didn't know any other vegan yeah. athletes and that's kind of how it became about. Didn't know anyone else doing it. I created basically a blog before a blog had a word. You know, I would just give my own articles, my own advice, my own suggestions, post photos. Uh, that's how it started. And then and how, how, how many profiles did you have on there when you first started? The first started was me. <laughs> uh, and I used to hold contests like, yeah. you know, at, sponsored athlete of the month or you know model search and i was just doing what, what mainstream bodybuilding was doing because that's all i knew you know like the arnold classic the Olympic, muscle mag flex magazine that's what i knew and so that's what i did i would host my own like enter to enter this contest and i get like three people to enter I'm like yes i got somebody so there, there was like nobody on the on the scene back then barely anybody wow. i used to get like three emails a month and i was pumped like i was so pumped to get three emails a month someone who actually cared about being a vegan athlete Back in, you know, pre, even pre MySpace days, no one else had a website, you know, it was kind of, it, it, was, it was fun in the early days to run a blog, tell a story, post my own updates, and like check web traffic, how many hits, all that kind of stuff. Now, now it's huge. It's, it, it's grown a bit, yeah. you got like, uh, how many profiles on there? Um, well, we probably interviewed 250 to 300 people with a full interview, but obviously, you know, yeah. thousands and thousands yeah. and thousands of members on the forum or in social media communities. We've taken... A few hundred people that we've interviewed, you know, in detail. Wow, Dude, that's 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 huge, man. The the growth from all that. Um, did you ever expect that it would just blow up like that? I was hoping that it would. <laughs> you know, I was hoping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I used to actually write magazine articles. Uh, I would actually use print photos. You know, get a three by five or five by seven printed, send uh, an article that I wrote, and and put it in the mail and send it to Flex Magazine. And so I got featured in Flex Magazine way back in 2001 as a vegan athlete in Muscle Magazines. And I did it again, two more features, you know, big full page stuff. And that was like through slow mail, printed photos, telling stories about being a vegan athlete. Uh, of course, now the web yeah. makes it easier. Yeah. So I, event, I hoped it would catch on. And so yeah. I, I tried the old fashioned way, going to all these events, the Arnold Classic, yeah. which I know you've been to, yeah. the Olympia, um, all these bodybuilding shows. I used to go and be a little bit of the odd man out, but I did it anyway and I enjoyed it. Uh, so how many years did it take to, for you to be a vegan to get on, the, on, on, a, on a stage for vegan bodybuilding? Well, I started when I was 15 years old. Yeah. I was pretty small. I mean, yeah. it was 120 I, pounds, I, which I, for I, me, I'll, I'll you know, of that. Yeah, yeah, 120 pounds when I became vegan. Uh, I, then I was a college runner at 155 pounds. But in one year, I got up to 185 pounds uh, of dedicated training and nutrition and working really hard. And I was competing shortly after that. So I put on a total 75 pounds. Uh, from 120 to 195 and 40 pounds solid during a very short, I don't know, two or three year period maybe. That's, and then, that's to, huge, right? Isn't that like a huge amount of weight? Yeah. I mean, is that normal for most people? Well, the funny thing is the first, the year before that, the year prior, I tried and gained one pound in oh. one year. <laughs> so I didn't have a whole lot of success. Yeah. But the very next year, I 28 pounds in 10 months. So clearly I, I, found, I figured something out. And that was just consistency, allowing adaptation to kick in. Uh, improvement to follow and success to be a byproduct of that. Wow. And um, did you, uh, no, I, I, I was reading your book again, and some of the, the your book, it's about like five years old now, and it's yeah. kind of, it, your, your uh, philosophies and, um, you know, and nutrition's changed quite a yeah. bit. Um, and I was, I, I was reading some of these things, you're like, how, how to bulk up, it's like, you're eating 8,000 calories, 300 grams of protein, and uh, what, what, eating a lot of food, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's it like now? Yeah. So I always had a skinny frame. I mean, as a runner, I, I excelled in running. That's what I was doing. And, and so I had a small, slim frame all, always growing up and even as an adult. And so for me to put on weight took a lot of work. Yeah, it took 5,000 calories or maybe 6,000 calories some days. And, and it took a lot, of, uh, a lot of food, a lot of calories, a lot of protein. Now, but what I'm learning now is that maybe it didn't require that. That's just what I did. I didn't, yeah. I ate a ton of bagels and bread and 18 turkey <laughs> hot dogs in a day and all this kind of stuff. 
could I achieve that through actual real food? Yeah, probably. And that's what I'm really experimenting with now and discovering now. So yes, I can put on muscle eating real food. I don't need to eat this incredible surplus of calories, incredible surplus of protein, incredible surplus of all these other things. I can just eat real high quality net gain food and you know, benefit from that. Do you, do you feel better with that? Yeah. I mean, before I used to stuff yes, myself. I mean, really, I'd be on like my seventh, stuff. my seventh bar of the night at midnight, just <laughs> trying to get it down. So I needed to oh. get 310 grams of protein that day or, wow. or 5,000. I just surpassed 5,000 calories or so I thought. That's the thing. I thought I needed that. As it turns out, I probably did. And did you feel sluggish eating all that calories? All oh, that? sure. Yeah. A lot of bread and a lot of pasta and a lot of peanut butter and all that. Sure. Yeah, I, I know it's when I eat too much, I just don't feel like doing anything. Yeah. And I know that's like the big thing. They're like, you need to eat 5,000 calories or you're not going to gain anything. It, it's, there's, just, there's just a lot of old ideas. That's really what it is. It doesn't yeah. matter what genre we're in, what area of sport or you yeah. know, sometimes even politics yeah. or other area education, other areas of thought. There's a lot of old ways of thinking and we haven't experimented with new things. We just do what everyone else always did. And going against the grain, trying something new, being your own person, Following your own desires, I think is I think is valuable. Yeah, for sure. And I um I I remember the last time I was talking to you, you were saying that you had a lot of injuries over the years. Yeah. Like uh, how many years back and your back and knee and <laughs> what, what wrist. else? Wrist. Yeah. You, you know, partly again, it's small. I uh, always had a pretty small frame, tall, yeah. you know, six feet and pretty slim. But I would lift heavier. At least yeah. heavy to me. Yeah. Uh, decline bench press 325 pounds, uh, leg press 1,000 pounds, squat I, I remember, I remember 350 that. or whatever, 345, mm -hmm. whatever it was. I mean, for me, yeah, you know, 110 that's, that's pound huge. dumbbell presses, for me, that was heavy for my build. And I'm pretty enthusiastic. And so I really push it hard. And so a few times it just caught up with me where I was just pushing too much, too fast, and the back just went out. Doing deadlifts, doing squats, you know, collapsed and yeah, the yeah. squat rack all the way to the ground. And these things take a while to recover from. So at some periods of my life, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a break from lifting. I'm going to pursue running. I'm going to pursue something else, basketball. And you got really good at running. I mean, I, I thought maybe you'd just do that, you know, you know, do a couple marathons. But you actually went to win. Yeah, I, of course, I have a background in that, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah. at college yeah. level. I have, you know, I have some okay. skill set there and talent, yeah. there, natu just natural talent there. So even after a decade off. I get to show up at races and, and like, <laughs> set a course record. I feel bad sometimes because other people probably train a lot harder for it. That's where my skill set and talent is. So I, I, I didn't know that you were a runner back in the day. Yeah, yeah. That was the thing I was the best at. Huh. And um, I was wondering, is there any, like, supplements that over the years, and you've been doing this 20 years, um, what is one thing that you think is kind of mind-blowing or do you think it might work or anything? Anything that catches your eye? Yeah, whole food and water. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> really, that's, you know, I mean, you can use supplements, you can use different things. Um, pre-workout, post-workout, recovery, whatever you want. And some people do benefit from some, especially if it helps clean up their diet from moving right. from an animal-based supplement to a plant-based supplement and cleaner products or if they ate junk food before and now they're replacing this burger or sandwich or whatever with a, a little shake or a, a pretty healthy bar made of nuts. Yeah, and yeah. And, you know, yeah. But I think the idea is that we can get what we need from real food and that should yeah. be the emphasis. We eat fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, legumes, drink a lot of water, whatever you enjoy with plant-based whole food. Uh, avoid processed foods. You don't need supplements aside from vitamin B12 uh, and vitamin D in some cases, depending on the weather uh, and climate. And uh, you know, have fun. Eat food you like in adequate quantities, and therefore, therefore get adequate nutrition with diverse uh, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and everything you need to do really well in whatever you're you're doing. You know, whatever sport, whatever interest. Well, what's an average like day for food for you? Like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, breakfast, oatmeal with berries and walnuts, sometimes a green smoothie, water, yerba mate, something like that. Snack, I admit, sometimes a little bit lazy, and we'll have like a lar bar, you know, just a fruit, yeah, uh, fruit I, nut I seed bar. Um, good compact calories. Yeah. But most of it's bananas and other yeah. fruits, you know. Sometimes I have as many as 19 different fruits at home. Please. You don't get bored. Yeah, yeah. You have heavy stuff like, uh, like, like mango, avocado, banana, and then you have some more watery stuff. Grapes, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, whatever. You're, you're turning for a now. <laughs> yeah, pineapple, you, <laughs> you can get yeah, you know, light cheese or grape, uh, 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 persimmon, you know, whatever you like. Yeah. So uh, mostly fruit and snacks. Yeah. Uh, and I said a few lower bars. I love international cuisine, uh, Mexican food, Indian food, Ethiopian food, oh, Thai food. Um, but primarily, you know, I'm, I'm really a... Um, Potatoes, beans, rice, lentils, quinoa, oats, fruit, and green vegetable really kind of person. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, salads. Uh, 
basically, to sum it up, oatmeal and fruits for for breakfast, uh, fruit and a few bars for snacks. Lunch is like, you know, like I said, potatoes or rice or beans or lentils, something like that. And then more fruit and bars for snacks. And dinner is, again, maybe international cuisine or some of the same. You know, more rice and beans and potatoes and yams and, and quinoa and, and salads, of course, in there and all that. And uh, you know what the biggest question I get as a vegan is how many calories do you get? So how many calories do you get? Well, I think first you have to understand. Uh, I, well, I mean, I know it's based on age. Yeah, yeah, yeah based on metabolic rate and Harris Benedict equation and how many calories you're actually expending. So yeah. for me, I expend on average uh, 3,223 calories per day. So I want to eat a little bit more than that to maintain and bulk up. Right now, I'm mostly maintaining. I'm not trying to lose or gain yeah. necessarily. I'm just trying to stay fit and have fun. Play basketball, play some tennis, yeah, go you, for a run. I, I saw race. a picture of you dunking a basketball. Yeah, I, 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 could, I could dunk when I was a sophomore in high school. You know, I, could always, I was always pretty good at, at jumping. So, uh, so yeah, if I can play above the rim, I will. <laughs> Dang. Man, let me, let me see if I got any more questions for you. Uh, uh, oh, I want to ask you about the, the – the, the, what's that, that show in Texas that um, – the Naturally Fit Super yeah, Show? I want to do that. I want to do the – Yeah, program. Naturally Fit Super Show, um, the Plant Belt Vegan Muscle Team, um, uh, bodybuilders, powerlifters, CrossFit athletes. Um, so but it's a whole team of all, all kinds of vegans get together once a year. So. I'm going. What, what, um, I'm going. You know, what, what do you got to do to get in? Just contact and reach out to Plant Built and see what they, you know, see what they're doing with roster and schedule and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. All right. And me and Justin Morgan's coming too. Nice. So, yeah, we'll be there. So, yeah, they're closing up the gym. So we got to head out. Thank you so much yeah, for, uh, for getting a lift in with me yeah. and uh, yeah, hanging thanks. out here and getting this interview in. Really means a lot, man. Because a lot of people don't know about uh, veganbodybuilding.com. I thought everybody would know by now, but like people are like, you can't build muscle on on, on a vegan diet. I'm like, well, just Google it, man. Vegan bodybuilding. It's it, it, your site comes up. Oh, how it. many how many hits do you get a month? I don't even know these days. It's just, I don't I don't pay attention to it, but I just I, I, I always send people out there. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, thank you guys. Right. I appreciate it.